Hello everyone and welcome to Lost in the Episode. Today I'm going to be going over the newly released mystery thriller series from Netflix called Clickbait. It's already hit the top 10, but is it worth your time? Let's talk about it. Clickbait is created by Tony Ayers and Christian White. It stars Zoe Kazan, Betty Gabriel, Phoenix Ray, Cameron Angles, Jalen Fletcher, and Adrian Grenier. When family man Nick Brewer is abducted in a crime with a sinister online twist, those closest to him race to uncover who is behind it and why. When I first saw the trailer for Clickbait, I couldn't help but think, Wow, we've seen that before, and boy does it look cheesy. And my first initial instincts were right on the money. But as the first episode of this eight episode limited series was over, I felt the need to keep watching. And as each installment of Clickbait continued, I found that I couldn't take my eyes off of the screen. So much so that the sun was coming back up when it came to its conclusion. Much of this has to do with the series structure, which we will talk about in a second, but let's get into the plot a little bit more. The series follows Pia Brewer, a young woman whose brother has gone missing and has shown up on a viral live video. In the live stream, he is bloodied and bruised, holding a sign that says he is a woman abuser. There is also a message that says if the video hits 5 million views, that his captors will murder him. It is a race against time to find her brother Nick and figure out the deep-seated issues of his kidnapping. The catch of clickbait and what makes it so special is that each episode is seen through the eyes of someone else involved with this crime. It starts out with Nick's sister Pia, but then the next episode we get to follow the detective assigned to the case, and so on and so forth. This format and structure is absolutely ingenious because it furthers the story in such a propulsive way. We are constantly learning new things about Nick's life, the people around him, and why he was kidnapped, but through the lens of a new character in each episode. It makes the series completely unpredictable and the eight episodes just fly by. One thing I do want to say, though, before going into clickbait is that you shouldn't look at the episode names of the whole season. They give away what characters you will follow in said installment, and I think the experience is just so much more fun going into it blind and being surprised. Another thing that shocked me about this show is I honestly thought that I was on the trail of what was actually going on near the very beginning. But clickbait was constantly subverting my expectations and throwing twists and turns at me that I never saw coming. This was a pleasant surprise, even if some of those twists and turns were pretty ridiculous. And that is one thing you need to understand going into this show, is that it is over the top, cheesy, and very melodramatic. But it is here to take you on a thrill ride of a mystery that, although is full of tropes of the genre, it wears those tropes on its sleeve like a badge of honor. I won't go into too much detail about the cast here, but you could say that the two main leads are Zoe Kazan as Nick's sister Pia and Betty Gabriel as his wife Sophie. They definitely hold this series up with their performances, as some of the other supporting players here are just not that good. Then again, the writing can be clunky at times, so I'm not really sure where to place the blame with on this one, but Kazan and Gabriel really create a captivating duo as two sister-in-laws coming together against all odds because of this horrible situation. At the end of the day though, Clickbait is not trying to win any awards. It's here to entertain and to thrill and to keep you guessing until the very end. And it succeeds in all three of those areas. It has one of the best soundtracks of the year that keeps the energy at its maximum. The characters are all captivating even if some of the performers don't pull it off completely. And this ingenious structure of being able to see a crime through the eyes of so many different people really make this a must watch for any mystery fan. 
I know clickbait might not be the critic's cup of tea, but I think audiences are really going to fall in love with it. It's like a summer beach read. You can't stop flipping the pages until it's over. So I will be giving clickbait 3.75 dating apps out of five. Although absolutely ridiculous and cheesy at times, this Netflix mystery thriller is a roller coaster ride full of unexpected twists and turns and an ingenious story structure that makes this one of the most bingeable shows of the year. Thank you so much for watching Lost in the Episode. We will see you soon.